Hello again, everyone. This is Game Collector here, and I'm speaking to you through my brand new microphone, which means I have a slightly better setup now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Start with that. This week I have with me Common Rider Gaim Armor Change Series number 11, Kachi Doki Arms. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this figure when it came out, and the store that had it on the day that it came out suddenly decided to go out of stock the very same day they go one per customer. And I completely missed it. And then I went to eBay when I got the money. Because I got another figure, which I'll be doing another video of, probably, um... In two weeks, you'll see the video. And here he is with AC01 and AC10. And showing them swapping the armors, which I'm going to do in a little bit. But I still don't have Jinber, or Jinba, or however it's still pronounced. Uh, that was the side of the box. Move the Kachidoki base off to the side. There's the top of the box. Bottom with an image of the guy of uh, the actor in the suit or the suit actor in the suit, and so on. So that was the box. Here's the manual, and what a big manual it is! Holy crap! It goes over the whole process, and this is probably the most complex arms change figure and I am not at all dissuaded by that. Um, here are all the accessories. The two fans, or flags. I forgot what they were called. Oh, ow. Pardon me. Uh, there are two uh, DJ guns right there. And I actually learned how to pron I forgot how to pronounce the flags. I've actually forgot what the word for the flags are. I can look that up right now and move freely, and <laughs> you will not hear me get dull at all, which is amazing. I absolutely love this new headset. Um, it was a gift, of course. So, yeah. So I'm just checking that out right now. Whoops. Went to the wrong thing. Pardon me for a moment. Still checking, of course. And thanks to the later episodes, and I will be showing the demonstration of a specific weapon combination here, it is indeed called the Dai Dai Maru. Hooray for Kiyawami. And, you know, showing, telling us how to pronounce things. Yay. So, almost, yeah, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, apparently they're just called the Kachidoki Bata. B-A-T-A. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Oh! Sashimono. That's what the flags are called. And it was totally worth that additional few seconds for that. But yeah, that's what those little flags are on here. Here is it. Here it is fully assembled. Yes, the flags are removable. This is also the, I think it's the largest arms in the entire series, outside of the Suica arms, of course. That thing can't, you can't beat that thing in terms of size. But it is the largest in terms of basic group, and I can compare it with the orange, standard orange, right now. Yeah, that thing is a monster! So... I'll be putting the regular orange and the melon arms on him in a little bit, but for now, here is the um, the DJ gun, the uh, the one that's supposed to be held like a gun, 
and here is the other one that's meant to be used like a sword and here is the um, Muso Saber which there that's the only point it's supposed to have oddly enough and I'm going to bring in the base guy body for this he does not have a hole in his belt or a clip you can obviously tell the differences right now by the head and the arms and the obvious kachidoki lock seat on the belt but he doesn't have a clip for his Muso Saber, nor does he have the lock seeds on his left side like the base form does. So, yeah. Just going to show you that. And now we're going to open this sucker up. Ain't that going to be nice? And he'll hold his weapons after I put the arms on him, so here's that. First of all, you want to unclip them from here. Just unclip all the way. I cannot guarantee that the helmet will uh, go on safely and soundly. Secondly, raise this up and the flags. This goes outward. And yeah, the helmet doesn't like to cooperate at all. It's just three little pegs sitting on there. It doesn't like to cooperate in the least. So, that drawn back. Oh drawn back too far so the head can't get through. Okay, it's on there. It's on there, but it's not... Ah, there we go. Click the helmet on. Secure? It's secure. And then drag this down forward and that fits on like so pull that back properly uh, and then these shoulder pads it doesn't look like it's on but it is oh well like so Rotate it around, like so, and rotate it around, and there, Gaim, Kachidoki Arms. I really wish I had a Kachidoki DX lock seat and a Sengoku driver, just to get the sound effects of this engine. This thing has the, my personal, well, yes, Gaim has two of my personal favorite form sound changes. For this one it's Kachidoki, obviously. And despite how much I think Kiyawami looks like crap initially, the actual look has grown on me. Ah, pardon me, my stomach is just a bit agitated right now. Um, in the armor, you know, same articulation all around, although it is slightly limited by the skirt which can be lifted. Kick. And, you know, outside. It's, it's the same general basic form. All of them have the same body, they just have different heads. And honestly, Kachidoki and Zangetsu have my two, have my favorite head sculpts. And as I looked up, Gaim's Kachidoki arms is actually, the head is actually based on a Gundam, believe it or not. That's weird, because I'm going to be doing more Gundam stuff after this. Freaky! So, he can pull off the little flags. And I've already forgotten what I called them. 
go figure, even though I have the page up right there. What were they called again? They were called the Kachidoki Bata, but the Sashimono. His uh, little Sashimono, which are... Um, if you don't know what these are, these are basically so... They're, team identifi they're army team identifiers, basically, so you don't get killed by your own guys. Yeah, that, that was apparently a thing. And here he is holding them. And here he is signaling that it's okay to land. I could not pass that joke up. I am sorry. No, I'm not. I wouldn't have done it if I was sorry. And click right back in there. Now, here he is with the uh, sword mode. And it is rather cumbersome, as his fingers are possibly the butteriest. And by butteriest, I mean they're loose. They don't exactly hold in place very well, but I can actually get them to hold it for more than five minutes, or more than five seconds in this case. And there. You can't exactly see it very well, but there it is. There you go. And... Um, he can't exactly hold it two-handed like he does in the show, and he can't grip it here because it's too thick for him to grip. Yeah. Take that how you will. He doesn't exactly enjoy holding the gun, either. That's the best we'll probably get him to hold it. I can get him to hold it in a two-handed shotgun position, but it's going to look weird hand up and the shoulder armor just kind of gets in the way but not in a terrible way and there holding it in the two-handed position there's not really much action in this action figure eh oh yes and as for that combination that I was speaking of earlier that weapon combo it's this plus the Dai Dai Maru. He hasn't exactly done this combination in the show yet, but I fully expect it to happen when he uses Kiyawami eventually. Or when Kiyawami uses these weapons in combination. It's essentially an all-orange thing. Um, Naginata. We have Suika arms, style weapon crossed with orange arms and kachidoki in a sense but not completely because there is no watermelon here just lots of orange citrus be even more citrus if i had lem if i had some form of lemon in here too but whatever here it is using the uh full orange thing Naginata. I'm sorry, my brain is kind of mushy right now. It's been two months since I've done a review, but thankfully I have not gone that mushy in the head. Um, anyway, now it's time to uh, swap armors. Bring the base Gaim back. In. We'll bring in classic Gaim. And just, you know, pull the helmet off first. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Just pop it off, like so. This is probably one of the easiest armors to just remove. You just go pop! Come on. Oh, it was attached. It's really hard to tell with this one, though, when it does attach. There it is. And orange. I honestly want to get the uh, Shinzangetsu so I can have two alternate forms of these guys. 
There they are. Kachi Doki base with orange arms and orange base or standard guy with Kachi Doki arms or uh, orange base, whatever. They have all these weird names for them now. The uh, Common Rider wiki even has a has um, it doesn't have all of them shown with Kachi Doki, which is what I plan to do at some point. Eventually, maybe, probably. Not in the foreseeable future, though. These guys are expensive! And, uh, as of the Tokyo Toy Show, <laughs> Mars and, um, I forgot what the other one is. He was called Kamen Rider Malice until we found out his proper name from the toy display, which is Kamen Rider Mars. He's from the summer movie that isn't Kamen Rider Tyson. He is an apple. There are two apples, golden and silver. I just spoil a whole lot for you. <laughs> I don't care. Now, here is Zangetsu, which we will show him wearing Kachi Doki, and Kachi Doki will be wearing the melon. While Basic Gaim will be back in the orange. So there's that. Melon arm. It's a lot easier to disassemble off camera. Sorry about the sound spike. I'll have my editor go over the sound uh, when I'm done. Here we have orange arms. He'll go off to the side off camera again. attached. Good. Yeah, I think uh, Zangetsu Shin would look way better in the uh, Kachidoki armor. Come on. Go in. Boop. And... Oh, this didn't want to attach. Attached? Okay, good, it is. And there we have them. God, Kachidoki looks horrible with the melon arms. KD base. KD base looks horrible with the melon. It's all that orange and green is clashing. It's, it's hideous. It's atrocious. It will haunt your dreams forever. Unless you're colorblind, in which case it's going to just look completely brown. And Zangetsu being white looks good in everything. There's a close-up. Unfortunately, he's still sporting the Gaim insignia on his chest, making him completely pointless. I gotta say, the Kachidoki uh, Kabuto looks really good on him, though, because of the little flares on the side, like his uh, melon helmet. The melon Kabuto. Right there. So, I'm going to do one more swap. Put, you know, this back on its... put them back on their appropriate owners. And while Kachi Doki has no armor st weapon storage, and I always like discovering weapon storage on my own, or making it up as I go along, I'll demonstrate that you can kind of, uh, uh, you know, jerry rig, uh, jerry rig a sort of uh, weapons containment on him, while Zangetsu gets his armor back and goes back off camera. And he gets his armor back. Yeah, don't expect me to transform this thing every time. You're just you just got to see the opening and that's it. Come on. Now as for storing weaponry, basically you uh move this a little bit. No, oh, he's right handed. And 
There. That's it. It's actually... This actually holds it in place really well, and, uh... It does kind of jiggle about if you shake it. But otherwise, it's really, really secure back there. And yes, it even works with the uh, shotgun mode. Now, when it wants to let go. There. See? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, that is really, really nice and neat that I managed to figure out how to get him to hold one or both of his weapons. Another little tidbit. While this one doesn't have the hole inside of it, because I'm going to show you more details on this, it still has the ridge for a weapon to be inserted. Oh. It still has the uh, little divot in there, but it doesn't have the hole. So, you can do this and then attach the orange and you have a bayonet. That is awesome! So you have... If you have orange arms and kachidoki arms, you get extra play potential with the weaponry by, uh, you know, just going all orange. You get an orange... Uh, what did I call this? An orange um, bayonet. Thank you, Brain, for not completely pooping out there. And an all-orange Naginata with an extra big blade. This could also be viable with um, blood orange if you get if you're if you've already pre-ordered the. Um, Bujin guy with the blood orange arms, and he comes with a way better detailed Dai Dai Maru. And I gotta say, I really, really like this figure a lot. Be mostly because of the head. I like that head. Other than that, I just like the sam the armored samurai look. Or shogun look, as you will. Because that's what he's become now. He's a shogun now. Technically, he becomes a shogun when the other lock seed goes in. Goes in there, right there, with a fruit basket. So, I will see you next week with my next review. And this is probably a way bigger step up from what Gamers Embassy is seeing from last week. Later.